see title on the screen and you see Belenkin group. I should say sorry, this is not, uh, this is a little bit exotic for this uh, <laughs> conference. Uh, uh, this is, uh, later I will explain what is Belenkin group and uh, all other words. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is joint, uh, uh, these are joint results with Yuri Farkov. He works permanently in Vilenkin groups. Uh, uh, it's possible to say he lives in Vilenkin groups. And as for me, I only sometimes touch it by my finger. And uh, this paper, uh, we touched uh, step refinable functions. What is it refinable? Uh, it will be explained later in detail, but probably you listen to this. This is connected with wavelet theory, with construction of wavelets. More details later. And you see step refinable function, step function. Why step function? In uh, real settings, nothing good. Uh, step functions. But another situation in Vilenkin group, groups, uh, step functions there are very, very good, the most uh, smooth functions. It will be also explained later. First, uh, an introduction. Uh, an introduction uh, to uh, Walsh analysis. This uh, study of uh, Vilentian groups uh, may be also uh, called Walsh analysis. What is Walsh function? There are classical Walsh function, and here it is said uh, generalized. Anyway, they are characters, characters of Vilentian groups. And uh, there is in uh, literature, uh, uh, three very well-known books, Golubov, Efimov, Skvartsov, Shrip, and in Edwards also uh, there is a lot of information about uh, harmonic analysis on Valentian groups. But of course, all this is not, uh, do not uh, does not contain uh, information about uh, wavelets because wavelets theory appeared just uh, just that time, early, early 90s. And uh, one more book uh, by Farkov uh, in two Indian uh, mathematicians, Manchanda Siddiqui. Uh, uh, th this is about wavelets uh, uh, in uh, uh, through Walsh functions. Uh, recent uh, book. Uh, in this book, uh, there are uh, some uh, several approach uh, for construction for constructed. Uh, complexly supported wavelets uh, are described, but actually the main uh, approach is based just on refinable function, uh, which was in the title. And also uh, uh, we will use uh, several uh, uh, papers, uh, paper of 2015, uh, um, our paper with Farkov and Lebedeva, where uh, explicit con construction of wavelet tight frames, we will use this, uh, this will be explained, and some uh, results uh, uh, by Parko Pratasov, Farkov, uh, Lukomsky, associated with constructing orthogonal wavelet basis. Okay. What is the Lenkin group, at least? What is the Lenkin group? Uh, I just this page. 
uh, Vilenkin's uh, group is associated with an integer p, <laughs> big O equal to then two, and uh, gp. This group it consists of the sequences x j, x j. Uh, 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 x j takes values uh, zero one etc p minus one uh, we will say digest uh, you can represent that p is equal to ten then these are usually our digest uh, and only f uh, at, at most a finite number of negative j such that x j uh, is non-zero. Uh, there is uh, uh, addition. Addition on G is defined as coordinate-wise addition modular P. Uh, so uh, this uh, 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 makes uh, G group, locally compact group. Lo before it was locally compact, it's necessary to introduce uh, <coughs> topology. And topology is uh, given by uh, neighborhoods uh, L, uh, UL. UL, you see what is UL. You can represent semi-line and all this is quite uh, clear. Elements of, this, uh, of the group as a semi-line. Uh, <clears throat> so these are usual uh, neighborhoods of uh, zero. Z is, theta means uh, zero point. Now, if there is plus, then there, are, there is minus. Uh, next, I should say that a special case of Belenkin group uh, is counter group. Counter group uh, corresponds to p equal to two. Uh, counter group was studied more earlier in, by many mathematicians, and uh, uh, since Vilenkin group is locally uh, compact group, uh, there is uh, standardly uh, hard measure is introduced there and uh, measure is uh, normalized such that mu of u is 1. u it looks like the uh, interval 0 1. If we look to the semi-line we can uh, identify uh, elements of group with more or less identify. Uh, here uh, more details about this identification. Uh, map lambda. These are numbers. These are numbers, and x is an element of groups. Uh, such uh, so uh, uh, the map lambda uh, gives uh, the correspondence between elements of group uh, and uh, semi-line, positive semi-line. <coughs> H. H. Uh, is uh, elements of groups uh, such that x j uh, is, is equal to zero for all positive j, so this corresponds to integer uh, to positive integers, which is uh, written uh, next lambda of h is set of positive integer. And also, this notation, I do not like uh, this, but this is standard lambda of H A is equal to uh, uh, alpha in square brackets. Uh, this is uh, lambda of this. So, so this is just, uh, <laughs> I will say, integer. Integer element of group corresponds to usual positive integer. Next. Group is self-dual. Uh, 
characters uh, provide this uh, duality pairing and characters are defined he of x omega exponent and uh, you see formula and next simple properties which uh, explain that this is uh, these are really characters really characters now in real setting we, call, we have just exponent of x omega and here such formula coordinate based exponents but this is an lack of usual exponent of in the real setting. Fourier transform. Fourier transform for summable function is defined by this formula. Should I show what no? Ah, yes, I see. I see, I see. Because Fourier, Fourier transform is given instead of usual exponent in the real setting and uh, of course uh, this notion extends to the space l2 in the standard weight at least walsh functions appeared walsh functions second argument is uh, integer i will say integer this of course corresponds to the integer to positive that I will say integer. Uh, this is uh, this property x plus h is equal to uh, uh, w of x. Uh, so we, we will say uh, that uh, Walsh uh, the Walsh functions are h periodic. And so uh, this is an analog of one periodic. Analog of is represent semi line. Next, uh, map A. Again, if we represent elements of the group as uh, elements of the semi line, this is just multiplication by P. Uh, in terms of this uh, map, we can write uh, neighborhoods UN. Uh, given by this formula, and this corresponds to the interval uh, 0, p under the power minus n, and uh, we need uh, uh, more uh, 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 more sets, uh, which are shifts, shifts of u n uh, with the same size of the step. Uh, proposition uh, for every alpha from the, uh, le which are less than this number, the Walsh function is constant on each uh, uh, set u and s. So these are step functions. That set. Next. We introduce space S M J. A function from this step, we will say this just step function, and it's possible of order M to say order M if F constant or that uh, uh, that sets. Uh, 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 with the size uh, of the, uh, the size of the uh, step is p under the power minus n. Next, we consider step functions of order m such that support uh, such that are compactly supported and uh, lower index uh, say which. Uh, uh, the size of the support and very important proposition for any ml we have function f belongs to this space if and only if its Fourier transform belongs to uh, 
uh, change uh, indexes, upper and lower indices. Let's return to uh, real setting. In many problems, uh, we want uh, to have good functions. What is good functions? Compactly supported functions uh, often are needed. And of course, we want uh, the function to be as smooth as possible. But uh, smoothness of the function corresponds to uh, the decay uh, to uh, uh, the rate of convergence uh, of its Fourier transform on the infinity. So, if we deal with compactly supported functions, we would like, we dream to have such a function uh, most uh, uh, smooth, uh, su such that uh, its Fourier transform is also compactly supported, but it never happens in real in the real setting. It's impossible. And here we have here this holds. Function is compactly supported, and uh, its Fourier transform is also compactly supported. Uh, so uh, this it's possible to say that these classes analog of uh, the Schwarz class, the best possible uh, decay of uh, Fourier transform and the best possible smoothness. Oh, I have to hurry up. A refinable function. What is refinable function? One is definition. Phi is represented as linear combination uh, of uh, uh, what is written? What is written? Uh, scaling and shift. Proposition. A refinable function P satisfies one, uh, satisfying one is compactly supported if and only if the sum in one is fine. Uh, so we replace one by two finite number. This uh, 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 here uh, situation is also a little bit better than in the real setting. In real setting we cannot state that this phi is compactly supported than finite number. Inverse statement holds true, but uh, in this direction it is not here necessary and sufficient condition. And of course, we, we are interested in compactly supported functions by refinable functions. So we will assume two. And uh, next, let us take Fourier transform from two, and we obtain the following pi hat is equal to m0 multiplied by this vector. And what is it, M0? M0 has this, uh, of this form, of this form. In the real setting, it will be trigonometric polynomial. And here, this is Walsh polynomial. I will say Walsh polynomial of order M. Linear combination of all function, uh, which, as was said, are step function. So M0 is also. And M0 is called the mask of a refinable function f. Next. A function f snorlick uh, M0 is given by uh, 3, uh, uh, Walsh polynomial, if and only if it is h periodic and belongs to uh, the space uh, this, uh, of step functions of order n. Uh, next, uh, next, uh, uh, applying uh, the applying applying this relation several times, uh, we obtain formula Fourier transform is infinite product uh, for every omega. This uh, infinite pro not difficult to see that uh, for every omega, this uh, infinite problem is finite. 
and uh, function phi defined like this is a step function. Now, if phi hat, actually we will construct firstly phi hat and then come to phi, then uh, the function phi itself is linear combination of Wolf functions. And what is it? Wavelet, at least wavelet. Uh, let, uh, f f first uh, we need notation, f, j, k uh, uh, is given by this formula. Uh, uh, a under the power j x and plus uh, integer h k and uh, several number of functions say one etc say r and we consider all functions all dilations and uh, 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 for every function psi nu, uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, psi j k and say that this is a uh, wavelet system. Wavelet system uh, and uh, psi nu are wavelet function. And we are interesting in wavelet system that form a Percival frame. What is it Percival frame? Or oh, it's possible to say tight frame. Tight frame, Percival frame is a frame such that for every f from L2, this equality holds. You can recognize this equality. This equality always holds uh, for uh, orthonormal system. Is psi the orthonormal system that we have just this. But uh, frame, Percival frame, is not necessary a basis. It is, generally speaking, redundant uh, system. But definition is, uh, looks very uh, similarly to the definition of orthogonal basis. And also, this is equivalent uh, Every f can be represented in this form. For uh, every f from L2 can be represented as, again the same we have for uh, orthonormal basis. Uh, so this is a generalization of orthonormal basis. Next, I will uh, uh, describe. Uh, Algorithm, algorithm for construct wavelet frames. We will start with Walsh polynomial M0 of order n. Not arbitrary, we assume that uh, this uh, inequality holds. How to choose? Very easy, just small enough values. What is it M0? Uh, it is step functions so finite number of uh, points uh, we should define finite number uh, this function in uh, fi finite number of uh, points and values should be small enough so that this is satisfied uh, uh, if we just take suitable values, but a k is also needed, they can, can be found due to villenkin christensen transform coefficients in a polynomial form. Next, next we define our goal to define definable function p, phi, uh, we define Fourier transform of this function as infinite product. And next we define so-called wavelet masks, m nu functions, again, uh, Walsh polynomials of order n, and uh, such 
that the rows of this matrix are uh, form an orthonormal uh, system. Uh, it is known how to do this. In the real analysis, this is more complicated. Here, this is a little bit uh, easier, uh, but I gave uh, a reference uh, to our paper, uh, this is described how to construct. So we have functions m nu with special properties, and then psi nu, we define r nu coefficients from m nu, and we define function psi nu that just form a tight wavelet frame. A tight wavelet frame. Maybe we are greedy, and it's not enough for, uh, for us uh, to have uh, uh, tight uh, perceivable wavelet well frame. We, we want to have orthogonal uh, basis. In this case, uh, we need refinable function, so-called orthogonal refinable function, such that all integer shifts for an orthonormal system. There are many different criteria of orthogonality. Uh, Erkov, Pratasa, Pukomsky, some Indian mathematician worked in this way. But there is the simplest one in real setting. The same, and for in our situation, this is most useful. This is in terms of Fourier transform, uh, this equality should be fulfilled for almost all omega. Next, oh, I have no time. <laughs> when I start. You started okay, okay. Uh, now let let us write. Let us write. Uh, uh, elements uh, in this form, uh, the sequence, integer part, then comma, and uh, then goes to uh, plus infinity, as we write uh, decimal decimal, usual standard. This is very convenient and very important uh, to, to understand, to, to disc give a complete description of step refinable functions. So we will start with uh, M0, that will be a mask of future refinable function. M0 and the class of H periodic functions M0, which are uh, step functions of order m and such that m0 of theta is equal to 1. Then, then for any every omega, we can write, we can uh, delete uh, integer part, we can uh, write 0, comma, then only n, uh, only n digits. And let us uh, uh, denote coefficients b as uh, uh, value of m0 at such uh, number, such an uh, element. And uh, it's easy to see that uh, function phi hat, which is infinite product, very easy can be expressed via these values. Next, next just uh, uh, a notion, uh, a definition of a notion which allowed uh, to uh, describe uh, 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 to describe all step refinable functions. Uh, sigma r set of vectors s zero etc. s r s j r digits such that for any Subvector, subvector consisting of n elements. The corresponding b is non-zero. So we take 
n elements from right to left, go, 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 and to the left of S0, we consider that we see zeros. In this, uh, so this is sigma r consisting of such vectors and sigma infinity, the set of sequences such that, such that uh, uh, six is satisfied for any uh, vector of order n. Theorem one, theorem one, M0 uh, in that class, for M0 to be the mask of refinable function, in this class, in this class, uh, it is necessary and sufficient sigma r to be empty. Next lemma I uh, miss, theorem 2, let M0 again in this class and n such a number for M0 to be the mask of a compactly supported refinable stem function, it is necessary and sufficient that sigma n uh, is empty. So we can check conditions, uh, take different r and check, for example, on computer. And, and now we can give a complete description of, uh, of all mask m0 such that uh, 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 M0 is the mask of a compactly supported refinable step functions. It's complicated to uh, look what is either or, 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 but I will write, for example, For example, p is equal to 3, n is equal to 3, we write 0, 0, 0. The value of these three elements, three elements, three arguments, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, two digits, three digits, 0, 1, 2. First line say if m zero in this point and in this point are zero, it's okay. All other arguments may be arbitrary. If not, for example, this value at this point is zero and here not, then we can try zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, and zero, one, two. Instead of this, instead of, uh, requirements that m0 from uh, this is equal to 0, we can require m0 for these three numbers are equal to 0 and etc. Instead of this, yes, I'm finishing, I'm finishing. Example for uh, in all details, uh, all functions are described, and I have no time to the general consideration for the case n is equal to two. More, more or less sharp uh, conditions are given in this theorem, and this about orthogonal basis, some improvement. Okay.